Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to rotate, scale, squeeze, stretch, position any texture or material in Unreal Engine. So obviously this has a wide range of application and I hope you find this helpful. So right now I'm just in a third person template with no starter content. And to start, I have created a texture in Photoshop and if I hover over it, it's 2048 by 2048 and it's just a JPEG file. You can make your own textures in any external program. Be in a power of two, so it should be 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024 or 2048 by 2048. So anyway, that's all there is for that. I'm gonna start from scratch here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and create a new material right here. And I'll just leave it called new material. I'm going to go ahead and double click into it and I'll just drag my material node off to the side. Now there's 12 nodes involved with this and what I found in doing this is it's almost easier just to bring all the nodes in at once because then you can easily duplicate any nodes that you need duplicates of. And oftentimes you do need multiples of a specific node. The first thing we're going to need is a node for our material or texture. So we're going to right click and search for a texture sample. Then we're going to need, and this is called a custom rotator. This is what will actually allow us to rotate our image or material completely upside down if we want. Then we're going to need a texture coordinate node. So we'll go texture coordinate right here. And then we're going to need two appends nodes. So we right click and search for append. And these are vector appends. And then I'll just hit control D because I need two of them. One's kind of go down there. Then I'm going to need a add node. So I'm going to right click and search for add. And then I'm going to need a multiply node. So you can just press M and click for that one. And then we're going to need three scalar nodes. I can pull this back a little ways. And for that you can just press S and click one. And then I can hit control D, control D. We can actually rename these. This one, these are actually going to be like our stretch and squeeze nodes, but we're just going to call one U and this one we're going to call V. But think of them as stretch and squeeze. And this one is going to be our rotate. So a parameter allows us to control these values from within our material instance so we don't have to jump back and forth between materials and things like that. And then the last thing that we need is we need two vector nodes. So for that you just hold down the number two on the keyboard and click. And down here, two and click. And that should be all our nodes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oops, I didn't call this one rotate, did I? I can't rotate. There we go. And then everything is just a question of setting the values and hooking everything up. So one thing that might be good to do is just start with our texture sample and go ahead and bring in our material or texture. And I'm just going to search for texture 1. Here it is. And we're just going to go ahead and plug that into base color. And I made it text so that we could clearly see the orientation of things with that. We can just come back over here to the left side. And on this node here, what we want to do is first convert this to a parameter. So once we do, we can rename this. So this one is going to be called position. So we're going to right click and convert to a parameter. And with the name selected, we're just going to call this position. There we go. And if we select on this node and over on its details panel, if we come down into the channels, we're going to have the blue channel. We're going to name that horizontal. Horizontal and the alpha channel we're going to name this vertical. And we're going to go ahead and plug this into the appends node. The horizontal goes into A, 
that a vertical goes into B and this goes into add the add A. On our texture coordinate by default this is set to this is set to 1 on both of those and we want to plug this one into the multiply node here so let me reposition these a little bit so this one is going to go into the multiply node and these two are going to go into an append node here and then into the multiply like that and on here we do need to set an initial value of one and on the B set an initial value of one the multiply will go into the add here. Now if I pull this down, this is simply going to plug into here. This one, this is going to be actually our center position, so we're going to go rotation center, so we're just going to plug it in there. And this is going to be our rotation, so we're just going to plug that in there. And then the last thing we need to do is on this node here, we're going to go ahead and right click it and convert it to a parameter and we're just going to call this what it is is the oops what happened we're going to call this center on its red channel with it selected on its red channel down here we're just going to call this center one and the green channel center two and then that's all we have to do and it should have initial values too, so center 1 should be 0.5 and center 2 should be 0.5. That's it. That's everything. So that wasn't too bad, was it? So we're going to go ahead and apply and save that. And you can think of this now as our master material, but this gives us complete control over everything. I don't need that mass node. I must have brought that in accidentally. And now we're going to come back into our third person template. We're going to right click on our new material and create a material instance of this. We're just going to call this MI underscore new material. What we can do is just, let's just click on a wall here and we're just going to go ahead and apply this material instance as our material. And you'll see the control that we'll, we'll have now over this material. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to double click on this material instance it's already undocked and you'll see over here are all the parameters we created the rotate the u the v and the center points and then our position here the horizontal and the vertical and let's just see how well we can manipulate this using these controls because it looks like the material doesn't fit at all at this point so we can just go it's properly rotated right now but if we wanted to turn it upside down we could turn it upside down here but I'll show you that in a minute here but the first thing you can see is that we obviously need to scale this down so on our U and our V let's go ahead and just try 0.5 that makes it bigger so let's try 3 and 3 and see where that gets us. So we might want to do three and two. No, three, let's just do three and three. And then we see it right there. Now let's see if we just click and drag. You see how we're doing almost like we're stretching it on the UNV. Here we're gonna stretch it this way. We're actually stretching it vertically, but you'll notice we've lost sight of it. So then we can come to our position here, vertical, and scroll up, and you'll see how we're having unprecedented control here. See how I'm, if I pull it down, I lower this value, I'm actually stretching it vertically, but it's, I'm losing position of it. But then I can compensate for that here, and see how we can do this? So between these two controls, between stretching it vertically and then adjusting its position vertically, I can really bring this thing under control. Now you see like it's not quite fitting. Well here on horizontal I can drag it 
and try to fit it. Now, so maybe what I could do is I like the height of that. Now I could squeeze it on the U here. Squeeze it a little bit, and now I have to adjust its horizontal position. Crazy, huh? Look at that. See how much control we have? Isn't this nuts? Horizontal adjust. And then look at this. If we want to rotate this and turn it upside down, look. 0.5 should do it. But see, I've lost sight of it, so I'm not sure where it went. So let's see if I can find it. There it is. If I adjust it vertically, there it is upside down. So do you see the control that we have? <laughs> so I could put this back to 0.5 or 0, lost sight of it, but then I can come over here and find it again. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.